So, you may know, every few levels on the Weapon Mastery system, you get a trial, which is a certain challenge you have to complete to pass on and finish a Weapon Mastery. And I got them all in a file, and honestly, some of them are absolutely absurd, so I'm gonna read out the most absurd ones, so you're ready for what you're about to experience. The Kraber is definitely the most unforgiving, especially because it's so hard to get. Because its third trial is down a skydiving enemy with a Kraber, and its fourth trial is down an enemy with a 360 no-scope, which is just insanity. And also, the L-Star Mastery might be a bit hard for this season, because one of the L-Star Trials is down an enemy while both you are using the L-Star, which seems easy, but L-Stars are a bit hard to come about at the minute. With the Spitfire, its fourth trial is to fire at least 500 bullets in a match and hit at least 51% of them. The Triple Take has a trial to down an enemy that's currently finishing a friendly, which doesn't seem hard, but how often do people finish each other in this game? I honestly don't see it much anymore. And in case you thought it was getting a bit easy, the Wingman's fourth trial is to down an enemy while both of you are in the air at the same time, which uh, seems like a bit of a pain to set up. And also the good old P2020. Respawn know we love dual wield in P2020, so their challenge is to kill at least two enemies with damage coming from two P2020s in the same loadout in a match. So essentially, you're gonna have to run two P2020s and get two kills, which, you know, is a quite cool challenge, I'm not gonna lie. These are so awesome because it makes you use different guns in ways you wouldn't expect. So honestly, I'm a big fan of these, despite how crazy some of these challenges are. I'll tell you what, they really make your work for that pack when you get to level 100 on the weapon mastery. But what's the highest level you've got a gun to? I think mine's four and also subscribe.